Hello, it's Dan here, Tunnelay Model Railways. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick vid uh, on how I do my magnetic decoupling system. Um, I don't think I'm the first person to uh, to, to sort of come up with this idea, um, but uh, but this is my take on it anyway of how I do it. So the old, uh, the end result should be like this. So you can decouple. Yeah, so you have two magnets, obviously opposite sides of the coupling, one here, so they decouple and then they recouple again. Um, they won't, if two, two magnets go over forward, they won't decouple because of the, um, obviously they're both pulling each other, and because of the barbed hook on the bottom of the coupling there, it hooks on. As soon as you shunt, so you push stuff backwards, obviously that happens. So obviously you're pushing backwards doesn't matter anyway, but that's how it should work. Uh, how it works, basically, a household staple glued to the bottom of the coupling, uh, bent with a slight sort of 45 and another sort of 45 degree angle bend, so when it, so it clears it doesn't dig in the ground when, when it obviously goes past the magnet. Um, how you do it, so I've put Backman coupling on all my locos, so I think this is actually, yeah this is an old mainland, but um, as you can see the screw holes and the little pinholes actually meet up uh, so it'll work basically. So I've put couplings. So all my couplings basically are uniform throughout the range. Uh, it's it, it's not. It is quite important that they're all the same really because it just makes life a lot easier. Um, I'm sure. Well, we're going to find out now. I've got a couple of old Airfix ones. I've got to try and adapt. Um, but basically, it just makes it a lot easier to sort of set up the jig for the staple. So jig wise, it's literally a piece of cardboard with a bit of. Sorry, I like dropped my uh, weather powder and it went everywhere. <laughs> Red hands. <laughs> um, so two magnets basically do a bit of cardboard. So it's just just proud of the rail. As my jig, let's just show you now. So you literally got, so it's just just proud. Yeah, so just a little bit of artist cardboard. So two little button magnets glued on there. Uh, eBay, the three three more magnets they are. I think they're like so they called Super Neo Pro magnets or something like that. They're called. Uh, so what you do is you put your staple on the, on on here. There we go. So in theory, it should look like that. Blob of glue on the staple and onto the uh, onto the magnet onto the sorry on the staple and a decoupler or coupler not decoupler uh, let it dry and away you go basically so you should again in effect get this effect So when they're being pulled along, they won't come apart because obviously they've got a barbed hook. As soon as you start to shunt, they decouple. Um, you know, it's, it's cheap, it's a pack of staples and a few magnets of eBay basically, nothing nothing, uh, nothing too expensive. Uh, a little bit of fiddling around, uh, obviously they're quite fragile as well, so once they're glued on, just, just you know, be very careful how you bend and alter them. Um, but just you, know, you might find a few, especially if you've got like static grass in the middle of your, of your line. Sometimes they can dig in the static grass, so you just got to adjust um, them enough so they work, but not enough so they dig in the ground. So a bit of fine tuning, um, but no, it's a reasonably cheap uh, um, you know, job to do. Um, but it works quite well. But yeah, literally, it's just a piece of cardboard, like artist cardboard, just pretty much level with the uh, with the rails, as if you could do like a hard standing surface almost. Uh, two little magnets, I just glued a bit of cardboard, and then say just normal household staples. Attach the couplings with a slight 45 kick, and then basically, as it goes over the magnet, it just pulls the metal bar across to get to that bit where it's 45, which pulls it back down that way. As soon as it goes past, it uh, releases. Um, so, yeah, so I've got this on Tunnel Lane, um, Little Quarry, and we will have it on Albury uh, coming, well, reasonably soon. Uh, so, there we go. But anyway, hope that helps somebody. I say it's not, you know, uh, have fun with the super glue. Uh, it'll probably be a bit of swearing involved, I expect, it was when I did mine. Um, but um, but yeah, no, you know, otherwise it works really well. So it's completely sort of hand of God free now, which is quite nice. On the actual loco itself, you take the actual coupling link off itself altogether. So you literally just have the bar, that's it. So when it comes to the loco, you just have the bar. Um, so you don't have to worry about staples on the loco. Um, anyway, hope that helps. Uh, cheers, see you, bye-bye.